Hey again, uh, welcome back to Filter Coffee Football. I realize in my past videos I've been a little bit rambling, I've maybe a little bit anxious as well, shooting this on my own without uh, Karthik here. Uh, he should be able to join us uh, come next game week. Uh, but yeah, uh, rounding out this game week, we're going to look at uh, the match that everybody was kind of peeved about, uh, Manchester United versus uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers. And uh, primarily because this was supposedly the match where Rafa Varane would finally get to start for United and even Jason Sancho got his start for the team. Um, United at home with two of their best signings this season, Cristiano Ronaldo to come, most likely starting the next match uh, uh, in uh, after the international break. So everything looking really, really good for United. So they should have gone into this match looking really confident. Uh, however, come kickoff uh, and come the match starting in, um, things were really different. Wolves were on the attack. They were on top. Adama Traore caused all sorts of mayhem for that United defense. Uh, Aaron Van Bissaka, otherwise an absolute beast in defense, was just not able to handle Adama Traore. Uh, Daniel James was almost redundant going down that wing, did not offer that much an attack and was not able to keep up with uh, Traore in defense either. Uh, luckily for them, Varane has apparently hit the ground running. He was amazing from the whistle. Uh, he did a great job marshalling Traore out. He did a great job holding on to the defense. Um, all in all, that just shows what United have in the defender like Varane. Uh, he's world-class, World Cup winner, um, an amazing spine of that French national team and has been uh, a rock in the Real Madrid defense for years alongside Sergio Ramos. So this was an amazing signing for Manchester United and some people were skeptical about how he might fit into the league. But this match was ample evidence to show that, I mean, he is just class, right? That guy is just class. He stalked right in, went right next to Maguire and fit right into that system. And uh, I mean, all good for United. I mean, they should be really, really happy uh, with what they have in Rafa Varane. Um, another great addition to that defense, which again had to be bailed out by David De Gea, unfortunately, though, uh, made a couple of really excellent saves uh, to keep Wolves from leveling. Um, same way against Southampton, he made a wonderful save against an Adam Armstrong counterattack, which kept United in that game and gave them a draw there. And today, uh, David De Gea definitely played a huge role in that win. Uh, like I said, again, Wolves were all all on top of United. They had an amazing game plan. Another thing that uh, Ole decided to do this match was pull Pogba back into that midfield, change from that double pivot and get Pogba back in that three-man midfield, which just does not seem to work. Uh, Pogba is best out on that left where he has more liberty to attack, where he doesn't have to receive the ball quite as deep, so he can contribute more easily to the attack. Um, he was not effective this game, unfortunately. Um, so it, either United need to try and get another central defensive midfielder in who is much better than the combined minds of Fred and McTominay, uh, or they need to stick to that double pivot and find a new position for Paul Pogba. Uh, luckily for him, Rashford seems to be out for a while, so he can at least stay on that left for a little while longer. Uh, and also luckily for him, uh, Dan James has not painted himself in good light and Anthony Marshall as well just don't seem good enough for this United at this moment I mean they're gonna have Ronaldo coming back soon and then you'll also have Edinson Cavani not to mention Mason Greenwood who has been in amazing form uh, so at that position uh, Dan James and Anthony Marshall are probably looking at the exit door at this point uh, but yeah looking back at Greenwood Bailing United out again, amazing finish. That guy just knows exactly where the goal is. Uh, always hits the target. And um, unfortunately, you could call it a keeping error from uh, Jose Sa. Uh, but nonetheless, United got their goal and uh, they went right through it. Wolves only have themselves to blame for this match. Uh, they had their chances. They were not able to take them. Adama Traore again caused havoc down his wing, but not able to put in that final delivery. And uh, that's that's where the game runs, right? You can create all the opportunities you want. You can look good on the ball and you can look like the better side. But if you're not going to get those goals, you are not going to win those matches. That's a third match now that Wolves have lost and another match that I feel that they genuinely should have gotten something out of. 
I have high hopes of Laj as the manager. He's done an amazing job so far with the team. The players seem to really be getting into that system, but they really need to start finishing their chances. Otherwise, they could be looking at mid-table mediocrity and just get lost in the shuffle. Uh, so here's hoping that they really try and pick up and get uh, more in terms of an output to these amazing performances that they have put out so far. And on quite the opposite side, we have Jaden Sancho to end with, who finally got his start for United, but fairly lackluster, still trying to bear into the system. Uh, I do believe he does miss that sort of mobility that uh, Dortmund offered him. United has more of a static setup with the only player who really has any other degree of mobility being Bruno Fernandes. Um, so I guess it might take him a little bit uh, longer to kind of really establish himself as part of the team. He was also started on the left as opposed to the right, which again, he's done that in the past, but clearly his right side is his stronger side. Um, going forward, uh, Ole might really want to have Ronaldo go down the middle, get Sancho down on the right, and possibly Mason Greenwood on the left, switch him in with Paul Pogba, depending on who you're playing against. But that double pivot really needs to stay. Uh, Wolves were just unlucky to not finish their chances. Uh, otherwise, this could have easily been another draw or maybe even a loss for United. Uh, but still there, still looking good. This result does, this again with the Southampton result, does kind of jade their uh, uh, hopes of maybe contending for a title because they haven't looked quite up to the scruff. But they have Cristiano Ronaldo coming in, so who knows what's going to happen then. <laughs> uh, we will have a video out for why we think Ronaldo to United is a good move and also why Ronaldo to United is a bad move. So please feel free to check that one out as well. And again, this is me signing off. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again uh, next week. We might do something else for the international break. And yeah, see you then. Take care. Bye.